Hi, I'm Lisa from sewinglife.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to turn a jam jar into this really cute little gift. So it's got felt roses on the top and then inside it's also got little red felt hearts. So it's super cute, it's a really sweet idea to give to somebody as a gift. You could put your own things in there as well. Um, you could put more hearts in and fill it with hearts um, and it's just really cute. So to make this project, you are going to need a glue gun, an empty jam jar of any size, a little bit of stuffing. If you don't have stuffing like that, you can just use little scraps of fabric and some pieces of red felt and a tiny bit of green felt as well. So we're going to make some really easy felt roses here. I've got various pieces of red felt, two different colours in different lengths and different widths. So the, the longest is about 40 centimetres. This is about 20 centimetres. All you're gonna do is take each of the pieces and you're going to cut wavy lines all the way down. So, because these are gonna give the shape of the petals. So all the way down, I'm gonna do that to all of the pieces. So for the next stage, take one of the pieces and we're going to do a running stitch at the bottom to gather it all the way up. So you just need to fasten the end. So either do a couple of stitches at the end, go over the first stitch a couple of times or use a knot, whichever you prefer. So that's that fastens it. And then you're gonna go all the way down with a running stitch. Pull the fabric at the end, when you get to the end and gather it all up until it sort of starts to fold back on itself like that then when you get to the end just simply put a stitch or two at the very end to keep it in place so that it doesn't untangle but don't cut this thread off keep that thread there now we're going to roll it into a rose shape so use the end that has not got the thread attached to it and just simply the first bit you can do quite tight because it's the inner of the rose and then after that just Gently let it roll up on itself. See, I'll show you from that side. Go all the way down. Keep these ends in line. And then you have the lovely rose shape at the, at the bottom. But what you want to do here is fasten this. Now we're actually going to glue gun this on, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a couple of stitches across there. And the reason that I'm doing that is I just want to put these on the jam jar lid and I want to be able to see what they look like before gluing them. So these are all the flowers that I've just made. I'm going to put them on top. I'm happy with the number that I've got, but what I want to do is... I want to actually make some green leaves to put underneath because I think that will look nice so you see less of the black lid. So I'm going to take these off again now and then I'm just going to freehand cut some leaves. Out of this felt. And they're going to stick on there. Put my roses here in the shape that I had. So I'm just simply going to lift them up and put them on just to check. Yeah, that they're going to look nice. So now we need to take them all off and we're going to one by one glue gun them back on. We're going to glue all the flowers onto the top. So. All the leaves are glued on so now I'm going to start gluing the roses on so I'm going to use the middle one first so I'm going to put that one in the middle first so they're all glued on now and they're looking really lovely so now that we've finished the top we need to go and start making the hearts so the next bit is going to be really simple. Just make all the little hearts. So take two of the squares and put them together and then just freehand cut out a heart shape. 
so they'll all be different but that kind of adds to it okay and then dependent on your size of jar i think probably i'm going to aim to do about six in here so for this next stage you're going to sew two of the heart pieces together now you can choose to either hand sew or machine sew it doesn't make any difference it's just personal preference i'm actually going to machine sew these i'm going to start at the bottom here go around and then i'm going to stop about two centimeters from the end so that i can put a little bit of stuffing inside them now take a little bit of stuffing and add it inside the heart. You probably need something to push it in like a pencil or a knitting needle or something like that. So now that that's stuffed, take it back to the sewing machine and just carry on stitching there so that everything is stitched up and then do exactly the same for all the other hearts. So just a little tip, if you stuff it too much, it will make it difficult to sew up that final little bit there. So don't overstuff it. So now the little hearts are ready and they can go in the jar. So you can put anything else in this jar. I've just got six little ones here. You could make bigger ones to fill it up or you could put your own gift in there. Um, you could put chocolates in, anything really. It's a really sweet way to give a present to somebody. So I hope that you loved making this project and that it was a lot of fun. Have um, a wander over to some of the other videos and see what you would like to do next. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!